Our online fantasy league is drafting tomorrow, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So before the draft, I wanted to show you guys some highlights from last year 2K20 online league when I got number one pick. Yo, yo, yo. All right. The l draft lobby is open. Let's go. Oh, I got the first pick. <laughs> Yo, I got the first pick. Yo, I got the first pick. Alright guys, I'm showing you guys this gameplay because like I said in the intro, we are having another online league drafting tomorrow. So I'm super excited for it, I think it's the best game mode if you're able to get 30 users that are active, that play games. You know, it's fun because you can trade with each other. It's a team you're gonna create yourself, it's a fantasy draft so all the teams will be equal. There's no disparity in talent. The only difference is between the top 10 picks and the late picks you might get like a 95 you know superstar with the top 10 but then your first pick at late 20s will be like 85 or 88 but then your second pick is going to be really good way better than the top 10 so it balances out um, so i'm showcasing you guys this gameplay my opponent has kyrie irving and zion williamson that's who he chose with his first two picks last year i got lebron james if you guys watch the draft on my channel i got lebron with the first pick Tobias Harris with my second and I think I got DeAndre Jordan or Derrick Rose with my third I don't remember but I know I got LeBron with the first pick it was my first time getting a number one pick in all my fantasy leagues I've been doing fantasy leagues since NBA 2k11 I think when I joined Chris Moves online league whenever we drafted I think I got always top 20 20 to 30 and then I got top 15 I think once or twice and then this was my second time getting a top five uh, the other time I got a top 5 pick was um, in our league in 2k, I don't remember which 2k, but I got top 5 and I picked Dwayne Wade and I killed it. That's when D Wade was rated a 97 and it was fun. Here we go LeBron, Woo, man, I'm telling you the power of the top 10 pick. If you're lucky enough to get a top 10 pick in the online fantasy draft, it's going to make your life much easier when you play these games. Because we play on Hall of Fame, so you need every <laughs> every single uh, help you can get. So if you have a player like LeBron who has floor general, who has dimer, it's going to help your players make shots. Because if you don't know the shots of your players, it's going to be really, really hard to make your shots in these games. Because like I said, we either play on Hall of Fame. And this gameplay is from 2K20. Imagine the online league on NBA 2K21. Because it's much harder to shoot on 2K21 than it is on 2K20. So I could already imagine how many shots are going to be missed. Especially in the beginning of the season when you don't really know the tendencies and how your players really shoot and the releases. Uh, the first few games, it's going to take some adjustments. So just got to make sure you practice a lot. Look at this lob from LeBron to DeAndre Jordan. That play right there from LeBron to DJ is exactly what I envisioned when I drafted this team. I decided to play small ball. I drafted Tobias at the 4th. So that when I run pick and rolls with DeAndre Jordan, the, sp the, the floor is spread out. So if you want to help, you're going to leave some shooters open. So that's another thing. When you draft your squad, you, you got to plan your starting five, how you plan to play. And it really depends on who you pick and the play style you want to play, like I said. Got to make sure that it's something that's going to work. Because sometimes players, they don't know who to draft, what play style they're going to play. But you got to plan it in advance if you want to have some success winning games. 
One thing I wanted to touch on is right now the league is full, but if you want to join, just hit up the comment section and whenever there's a spot open, um, I'll let you guys know. Just hit up the chat, let me know if you want to join because right now the league is full, but if ever a team is open. Because in the beginning of the season or two weeks into the season, there are some teams that become available because some players um, aren't active, they're not able to play games when the season starts or some players quit the league. Um, you know for their own reasons so if some teams become open and you want to take over the squad just hit me up in the comments section I'll invite you to the group chat and you guys could um, you know chill with us with our league and whenever a squad is open if you want to chat you know play my career games uh, you know we play my career we play rec games we play in the park uh, we do a lot of stuff together so if you want to be part of the community our league and if you want to take a team eventually just hit up the comments section and I'll invite you guys but make sure you reply because a lot of players or should I say some people they leave a comment but then I message them back but they never reply so they never end up joining and I don't know if they still want to join so just make sure you reply whenever I hit you guys back up in the comment section I'm always looking on my phone uh, I try to reply to everyone as much as possible and trust me it's gonna be fun maybe you're not gonna get you're not gonna draft the team yourself but um, going into PS5 if you're able to you know stay with us for ps4 we're definitely gonna make another league in ps5 and we already know ps5 if the online league is the same or if it's much better improved because it's next gen it's gonna be even more amazing than what you see right now and i can only imagine how much fun it's gonna be hopefully they made some improvements hopefully the servers are better um design williamson with the dunk right there hopefully there's not too many problems because in current gen online leagues there's a lot of glitches a lot of problems that's why not many people are doing online leagues because it glitches a lot so for example when you want to start a draft sometimes it's not starting um sometimes the season doesn't sim out properly sometimes the rookies don't show so there's a lot of different problems in current gen for online leagues so i can see why a lot of people are not bothering because it takes too much effort and then it ends up not working but if it ends up working like right now and if you get lucky and everything goes smoothly then you're gonna have a fun league it's gonna be extremely fun because like i said i think online league fantasy draft with 30 people is the most fun that you could have on this game it's basically like my team but with no cheesers because <laughs> if you play my team you already know a lot of people are just cheesing with some super crazy lineups and uh, yeah this is the best i think this is the best game mode in the game you can trade with each other, you can draft your own squad, you can make your own plays, you can make everything basically. And I think trading is the best part of this game too, of online league. You know, you're trading with other players, you have to look at the salary. Um, you know, you can trade star players for star players. Uh, you can trade draft picks. You could, you know, it's very strategic basically. So, and one trade or two trades could end up making a difference in your season because some players are having a bad season to start. But then after a few trades, they end up turning the tables around. They end up making the playoffs, and then you and then make it end up. <laughs> Man, my words are stumbling. I'm not too good with my commentaries right now. It's been a while, so. Like I said, one or two trades during the season can change your whole um, outlook on the season. You could end up making the playoffs, make a deep playoff run. You might win the finals. You never know. So, online league is definitely really really fun. So unfortunately this game got disconnected, like I said online leagues in current gen has a lot of glitches, you know, a lot of games disconnect, like for example you can see here the, the game just disconnected in the third quarter when it was getting fun, but like I said our draft is tomorrow, I'll be live streaming it on my channel so stay tuned, turn on the bell notifications and uh, you'll be able to catch up on all the videos I'm going to be posting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.